The Arab League takes on Israel as the death toll for this year tops 220. Cristiano Ronaldo is facing a political ban because of his support for Palestine, according to this leader. Morocco's Walid Regragi becomes the first African manager to be nominated for the 2022 Best Coach Award. Finally, it's time for the youth as Qatar prepares for the AFC Asian Cup. Hi, it's Fatma and this is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. The Arab League has taken on Israel for its ongoing war against Palestinians. In a statement, the regional bloc said two 223 Palestinians have been killed by the occupying state since the start of 2022. It also shed light on an increase in the number of prisoners as well as ongoing demolition of Palestinian homes to make way for Israeli settlements deemed illegal under international law. On that note, Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan believes superstar footballer Cristiano Ronaldo was a victim of a quote political ban at this year's World Cup for his alleged support of the Palestinian cause. The Portuguese captain was surrounded by controversy during the tournament, especially after the head coach benched him during Portugal's 6-1 thrashing of Switzerland. However, the former Manchester United footballer has never made a public statement on Israel's occupation of Palestine despite reports and photoshopped images appearing on the internet. And now, Morocco's coach Walid Regragi has been nominated by the International Federation of Football History for the Men's World Best Club Coach 2022. Topping fourth place at the World Cup, Regragi is the first Arab and African coach to be nominated for the award. While the nomination have yet to be announced, FIFA has also pointed to Regragi as a possible candidate for the FIFA Football Awards. This is seen as a major feat for the Moroccan as he was appointed head coach only three months prior to the World Cup. Finally, the name of the 27-man squad for the under-20 AFC Asian Cup has been revealed. Qatar's rising stars will take on Australia, Vietnam and Iran in Group B of the tournament. The event will be held in Uzbekistan in March. That's it from me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co.